Here, Louise Lawler produces this picture. Why pictures now? She refuses to use photography, standard photography in her practice, but refers to the pictures generation. And it's a nice take with the ashtray and matches and, and how she perceives pictures will go into the future. Here's another one by Marco Scazzaro, which is about reproduction. And here's that web address where you can have a look at more artists pushing the boundaries of photography. Alma Hazer, patient number one. Interesting distortion of a portrait. Valerie Beale and Golden Girl, looking at gender identity in comics and turning that around. Here we have a, a sculptural photograph by Artie Vierkamp. Very interesting way to push the photographic image and very successful. Being new, Photography 2018 is on at the Museum of Modern Art. Here is a link to the exhibition. You can see international contemporary work. This is called Mirror Study by Paul McPaggy. A very interesting way to push the presentation of photography. You can see the actual body has become part of the work. Shilapa Gupta has halved her frames to create, or split frames, to create an interesting result and to fragment the world. Stephanie Sejus revisits historical ethnographic studio portraiture using mass manufactured goods purchased from American shopping malls and restyled to highlight popular fantasies associated with the ethnic patterning and costume. Garment Winnet, My Birth Detail, represents multiple photographic images in the one piece. Strength in Honour is another piece by Ade Wollongi. Social media and digital media is very current at this time. And here's a piece by Vazan Kahali, hiding our faces like dancing in the wind, momentum. Thomas Demand is a photographer. He creates his photographs through paper. This is all constructed. He makes a diorama and re-photographs it. We have some of his work exhibited here. He likes larger prints and quite often a really high gloss professional finish. Here's another work, the bathroom. The immaculate detail. His work again in a gallery. You can see here he used, he's used a sight line from one space to view into another. You can see that it's nicely framed by the doorway. He looks at sort of mundane objects from our time and spaces. And here's that piece exhibited in the gallery. Another really interesting artist is Tassa Dean, who looks at film and the transition to digital in photography. These works are from a show at the Tate in London. And you can see that they're very large scale projections. When you're thinking about the display of your photographic work, try to ensure that it suits your concept or idea.